Hey guys, it's Ren from Make It By Ren Ren, and today I'm going to show you how to pack a set bag for quick touch-ups on the set, and how to get one for really cheap. So if you're interested, stay tuned for more. Okay, so first off, let's go ahead and get an aerial view of the set bag in its all of its glory. And as you can see, it has many compartments and many pockets and inserts on every single side. It also has an open top and a very roomy inside, which also has many pockets and compartments. And on the bottom, it also has a zippered bottom pouch which has a little mini box with drawers on the inside. And for my convenience, I added a strap to the very top. That way, I can go ahead and use the strap, throw it over my shoulder, and bring my set bag with me, and I'm good to go. So next, we're gonna go ahead and talk about what to pack in a set bag, and how you can get a set bag for super cheap. Okay guys, so now you've seen my set bag, and you're probably wondering, where can I get one, and what exactly is a set bag? So let's start off. A set bag is exactly what it sounds like. It's a bag packed with makeup, and you bring with you on the set or on location when you can't lug around a large train case where it's just not possible to do so. For example, let's say you are doing makeup for a television show. Oftentimes there's a dressing room where you have most of the makeup there, but you need to go ahead and Finish up really quick and grab your set bag and go on the set so that way you can do quick touch-ups in between commercial breaks or in between um, shots. So a set bag has to be very portable and it has to contain the essentials. So if you look up set bags online, they have some on CameraReadyCosmetics.com, Japanesque sells them. They can be really pricey, like $75 and above. And I really didn't want to pay that, so I was thinking over and over, trying to do a little research and come up with a cheaper alternative. So, this is my cheaper alternative. It looks like a makeup artist bag, doesn't it? Because it looks like it has all the spots for them. It even has a little brush area for brushes right here. But it's actually a scrapbooking bag. And um, scrapbookers, will stick in pencils, brushes, and all these compartments. And I found this at Walmart for $20. So scrapbooking is huge. You can find scrapbooking aisles at Target, Walmart, um, Michaels, craft stores especially. And they all sell bags kind of like this. This is a good one just because it has a lot of open air pockets and a, a nice lifting strap. The only thing different that I added to it was I took a luggage strap and that way I can just throw it over my shoulder and go. So let's go ahead and talk about what each side contains and I'll show you pretty much what I think is good to pack in a set bag. So first off, you're gonna wanna be um, prepared for anything, including hair touch-ups because sometimes you are the hair the hairstylist as well as the makeup artist. So I have brushes, combs, hairspray, and I also have bug spray. This is Deep Woods formula. This comes in so handy when you're doing photo shoots in odd places like the middle of the forest or outdoors. You need this to protect yourself from bug bites, so that's great to have. It saved my life many a time. On this side, um, it, we have a little pocket right here, and I have a mirror, so that way the client can kind of see what's going on. I have disposable sponges, and another really great item to have is blotting sheets, oil blotting sheets. These are from e.l.f., they're only a dollar. And pretty much, a lot of times, the only touch-up you might need is to touch up a little bit of oiliness around the T-zone. And these are great because they're disposable and they're cheap. I also have inside this larger compartment a zip-up bag full of different items. Like there are lipstick, lip gloss applicators. I have Q-tips in here. I have mini disposable spatulas. I have mascara spoolies. 
basically little disposable applicators that you can use to do a quick touch up and then you can top. Next I have a clear bag, a clear little makeup bag. Clear is good because you can easily see what's in it and get things out quickly. And it has some um, also really good items to take with you. One is a um, oil control blotting powder. which is in the invisible and this is great for just touching up um, makeup and it, it's a universal color so that's good I also have in here clear lip gloss which is good to touch up you know any lip color I have um, chapstick as well as binder clips to hold back clothing and sponges and some other applicators in here um, when I'm on a shoot for a specific um, model I will throw in like the little eyeshadow quad or the lipstick or lip gloss she's wearing if I want a specific color to touch up with I'll just throw it in here so I just wanted to share with you my look today my makeup look because we always get questions about what you're wearing in the video so this is uh, mainly colors from the blonde brunette redhead collection which you'll see a tutorial coming soon and really quickly on my eyes I'm wearing Bear Study Paint Pot I'm also wearing Pin Curl Eyeshadow from the Blonde Brunette Redhead Collection here I'm wearing um, Fig One Eyeshadow and Contrast Eyeshadow on my cheeks I'm wearing um, Blonde and Redhead MSF and on my lips I am wearing Soft Wave Lip Glass as well as Plum Lip Liner so I hope you guys enjoy the look it matches my scarf and like I said, stay tuned for tutorials on the black, blonde brunette redhead collection and back to regularly scheduled programming. Next on this side, I have a pen. It's good to have a pen just in case. I have, again, an e.l.f. $1 product, which are little makeup remover pads. These are really great. These are cleansing tips from MAC, which are basically pre-moistened Q-tips, which are um, individually wrapped, so it makes it really easy to touch up um, like eyeliner that smudge or mascara. Another really important thing for outside shoots is sunscreen for yourself or anyone who wants it pretty much. You gotta protect yourself if you're shooting in the blazing sun for hours. On this side we have brushes and as you can see it has these little, this little mini brush these brush holes which I think they're for paint brushes or markers and I have some basic brushes including eyeshadow brushes, synthetic brushes for like concealers or creams. I have powder brushes, blush brushes, um, pretty much some of the most basic brushes out there. I also include more of these disposable lip gloss wands because like I said a lot of times when I'm touching up all I really need to touch up a little bit of the oiliness and touch up lip color. So it's good to have a lot of these disposable um, lipstick wands so that way you can just do it and throw it away. Also try to carry around a pair of scissors. This is a small pair of nail scissors. Comes in really handy for almost a lot of various occasions. I also have lots of bobby pins for, you know, taming hair when you're doing a shoot. This little mini compartment here has business cards. Make sure to always carry business cards wherever you go. You never know when an opportunity to network may arise. And let's go on the inside. I have in here um, paper towels in this book bag. Pretty self-explanatory. Kleenex in a small travel box. Sponges, various sponges in a little Ziploc. And it's always really great to have wet wipes or baby wipes. This is a little mini pack, which I have about like, I got like 15 of these for like a dollar at the drugstore. Really great for cleaning up hands, cleaning up messes when you're doing dirty shoot. So that's pretty much the most most of the stuff. But if you look at the bottom, it has these little zipper compartments. And this one right here, you can put whatever you want in there, but I threw in some empty plastic bags to hold garbage. Or if I want to sit down like on a random concrete slab, I'll just put down the plastic bag first so I don't get my clothes dirty. Then we have this bigger compartment on the bottom. And you have to also unzip it. And it contains a little box, which is really handy so it can hold products that you don't want to get smushed. And inside the box, I have some other essentials. And as you can see, it's great because it has little dividers. 
I have a lipstick and cream blush palette, mini palettes just for touching up. I also have an eyelash curler. I have mini primer potions for the eyes. I have a little five gram jar of loose um, setting powder. I have a um, pencil sharpener. Little mini thing of Smashbox photo finish primer. Great for touching up little areas where you see wrinkles coming through. Definitely have um, lash adhesive for false lashes. As well as I have this little mini brush. It's like a lash comb. So as you can see, that's what I've packed in my set bag. Um, some other items that I didn't mention that are great to have. Um, just regular tape. Like I have hospital tape in there. It's great for um, cleaning up any glares that might have fallen or, you know, various items. So this is what I've packed in my set bag. I hope it's helped you guys. So if you're an aspiring makeup artist or you just want to be prepared for any occasion, get yourself a set bag or aka scrapbook bag. So I hope this helped you guys out. Until next time, have a great night. Ciao, fellas.